Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Issue Crew, the podcast where we talk about shit, uh, <laughs> where we all have issues with our lives and with each other. I forgot the intro. I'm your host, Riley, joined by a wacky cast of characters, as usual. Jason. I'm very not good right now. <laughs> he's not doing great, but he's here anyway. I'm very sick. Demi Gloom. Man, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't think Turn it Demi off. Turn it. No, 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 Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. No. Die. Hi, Demi Gloom. How are you tonight? What the fuck are you talking about, mate? This fucking bullshit, yeah? Demi Gloom, you have one more chance before I fucking kill you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Demi Gloom. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Mo Diggity. Hi, everybody. And... Ida is here too? Question mark? Uh, I'm only I I I'm gonna be here for like five minutes. Then why did you sh- don't be here for five minutes? Don't just join the call. I, I we're only gonna be here for five minutes. I, I was going to I was hoping you weren't gonna mention me. <laughs> why would I not mention you if you joined the call? Didn't even mute yourself to denote that you weren't gonna talk. <laughs> why? I no, I'm Ida, I'm trans. Why are you guys still recording me? Yeah. Why are you guys still recording? I'm the, I, I, I'm the one here who always talks about being trans. Yeah. I didn't say you always talked about it. All I said is that you were. <laughs> <laughs> well, you no. were you were doing that stupid voice that you were doing to denote that you were Ida saying that you were trans, as if to imply that Ida would say that. Fuck you, I pass. <laughs> you do pass, that's true. But uh that's not, I'm not denying that. So Ida's not actually here. Kill her profile picture. It's dead now. <laughs> gonna actually just like shoot me in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ida. Record a video of you killing yourself so I can put it in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what riveting podcast content. <laughs> Woman dies live on stream. I think it'd get the views <laughs> until it got banned, but it'd be, it'd be a while be the, ride. That should be the title of this. Not gonna name it. Woman think... gets killed live on podcast. I don't think Fox <laughs> News would agree with that title. Yo, can we can we do like an entire episode where we just react to videos of like people dying? No, that's Yo! fucking depressing. That's gonna f- be no. I'll awesome. like I mean, fuck I'm with not... my head. You guys know no, the no, 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 no. Like, like I used to watch that shit all the time when I was a kid. kid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will one of you like speak again instead of like over each other? Yeah, because Jason's no. mic is stupid quiet, and we couldn't it's hear him over Ida. Either. Mic is stupid quiet. It's just that I'm stupid quiet because I can't talk loud, or else my voice will hurt. Well, that's when you got to get closer to your mic, my guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not not like... quite that close. Back up a little bit. Do you have uh, COVID? Mm, yes. No. I, it's just a cold, but it hurts my throat. It's time for us to start our topic, so if you're not going to be real, get out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so today's topic is people videos of people dying. I first want to talk about one of Demi Gloom recently, of a man right like holding onto the side of a train, and then he got thwacked by a pole, and like Oof. His, Oof. his fucking body exploded. That's, that's a little fucked up. That's a little messed up. Why is it always the websites with moving watermarks that have videos of people dying? Oh, no. But all right, gamers, our real topic today, we've been we've been building it up in the group chat for a long time. There have been several delays, but now it's time for the real shit. The best episode of the issue crew. <laughs> the episode about dinosaurs. <laughs> Let's fucking go. I'm so excited. <laughs> so uh Mo Diggity, do you <laughs> I'm going to let you lead this discussion because you're the one who's been Jones in to talk about this more so than anyone else. You're yeah, you're the I dino mean, Mo, man. Mo is the one who actually remembers dinosaurs. <laughs> <Yeah. so> like, <laughs> he was around, so he has well, I got to, experience. I got to see them, you know, in the uh, in, in the museums and stuff, and it was pretty cool. I don't to, know yeah. if I actually got to 
hang out with the dinosaurs or anything you like got, that. You got to see the dinosaurs in the museum when they destroyed the museum because they were still <laughs> yeah. alive and you were there. Oh, look, <laughs> all I remember is a T, me and a T-Rex were hanging out and then the sky got real bright and my buddy, you know, Steve, that was the T-Rex, T-Rex named Steve, he was like, hey, what's that over there? And then, you know, a meteor hit and killed all the dinos. It didn't kill me, though. How did you I'm survive? Fine. I don't know. I the, my, apparently humans don't have like a, you know, we're we're impervious to we're we're impervious to fucking meteors. He had blast protection four on his armor. Yeah, that too. That too. But uh, yeah, fuck yeah, dinosaurs. Been a while to talk about like dinosaurs for a really really long time. If you guys are like wanting a. Wanting a fucking uh, you know, uh, era by era breakdown of dinos. I have sat uh, sadly, I am not prepared for that because I turned to Demi Gloom for that. The actual smart one in the room. (laughs) What? Okay. What are you talking about, Jason? (laughs) Listen, Jason is at least like half as smart as I am. Okay. (laughs) Wow. To be fair, I am mentally impaired right now because my brain is. And imbecile. Imbecile doesn't affect my intelligence, but I still just want to mention how much it's saved me. I hate. Can, can we just make this episode about being sick and why it sucks? No. And how I always get sick around November and December without fail. Why? Why is your immune system so weak, you fucking pussy? <laughs> no, so my mom put it best. If I could catch a ball as easily as I could catch a cold, I'd be an NFL superstar by now. Like, my immune system was just born wrong, you know? <laughs> just built different and not in a good way. Yeah, I was given... I'm more susceptible to ailments and shit, bro. My life is like a video game for real, for real, on God. But all right, gamers, I guess the, the first question that we can go around with that should hopefully fill some time. Uh, what's your favorite dinosaur? Demi Gloom. Um, Better be a cool I like, one. I don't even remember their fucking what they're actually called, dog. Fucking long necks, dude. What do you call those? Do you seriously uh, Stegosaurus? Names? No, oh my, you fucking idiot. <laughs> no. He thinks it's You're... a Stegosaurus. Oh my god, you got Riley. Riley, what? How you you guys expect to do an episode without like looking up the name of your favorite dinosaurs or like knowing the um, names? Brat Brachiosaurus, Brachio, Brachio Brachiosaurus. Oh, listen, oh, man, Bra- Riley, like, Riley dragged me in here. Yes, it's not a, a Stegosaurus. Is the one with the fucking like spikes on its back, the long yeah, one? Yeah, it looks That's fucking not super true. badass. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's got four fucking spikes on its tail too. Riley it's has fucking all of super his boss looking. Dinosaurs from Power Rangers: Dino Thunder. Stegosaurus is like the Bowser one. Yeah, no, wait, ba- Bowser's no, no, a dragon. No, I, I have my knowledge from fucking Astiff movie, and I'm pretty sure they they showed the long neck guy, and he said, "I am a Stegosaurus." That's where I have my fucking dinosaur knowledge. <laughs> A stegosaurus has like weird spikes on its back. The brachiosaurus is the one with the long neck. That's that's the what that's the black zord from pa- Dino Thunder. I do oh, remember sorry. that. I was I was thinking of the uh, the brontosaurus. Ooh, brontosaurus. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that isn't there like one dinosaur that was like super popular that like they proved wasn't real? The Triceratops, supposedly. There's like no, still, not the I, Triceratops. No, oh, no, no. Don't tell me you're not. Lo- tell me you are joking. Dinosaur, not real. <laughs> Let me see if I can find this. Demi, yeah, I mean, if if the Triceratops is in fact a real thing, I want a written apology from you. Are you saying the Triceratops isn't real? <laughs> I have some bad news. <laughs> no, what? no. <laughs> no, it's not the Triceratops. It's not bad news for you, Jason. It's bad news for Debbie. <laughs> okay, good. What the, is it? The Brontosaurus? <laughs> it is the Brontosaurus. <laughs> well, there's like about five different iterations of what we think was the Brontosaurus, the Brachiosaurus, and all that shit. So, like the Brontosaurus, the, the classic one might not be real, but we still have like evidence that a Brontosaurus-esque fucking dinosaur actually existed. 
maybe not be the brontosaurus, but the brontosaurus still lives with us. And we're not going to, humanity is not going to like forget about it or just, you know, shove it aside. And fuck, we can't even de- agree on whether or not Pluto is a planet or not, you know? Man, Pluto really got cucked. Well, apparently Pluto is a planet again. Again? What do you think, Mel? I don't care. Well, Pluto can I, be a planet as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't I really give a shit. I have the opinion that it is not a planet. I think <laughs> that once you're once you're declared as one of the planets in the solar system, I feel like you should be grandfathered in. I feel like Pluto shouldn't have gotten. Oh, shut the chat. fuck up! <laughs> this is this is who this is who I'm on a podcast <laughs> with talking about like scientific topics that I'm not even qualified to talk about. And we have and Riley. We're not dude. talking about the science of dinosaurs. We're gonna autistically for an hour talk about how cool they are. All right, listen, Brontosaurus, cool. Stegosaurus, cool. T Rex, overrated. Fucking Raptors, fucking base. Cute, cute little guys. And uh, dinosaur <laughs> chicken nuggets, guys. dinosaur chicken nuggets, best chicken nuggets. Yes, End of discussion. Nuggies, no, let's nothing else needs to be go. said. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, I love dino nugs. Can I say my favorite dinosaur and why it's objectively the best one? Sure. Triceratops. It's the coolest because it Hell yeah, it's horn. fucking nice. It have, it's badass looking. It have big horn. It ram and it go brr. Ayo, but honorable mention to the. Uh, Archi- uh fuck what is it called again the um architerix that thing is cool it's like it's just like a chicken with wings that like really fly and it's cool looks like a boss from shadow of the colossus shout out that one but triceratops is the best <laughs> shout one. Out that one <laughs> triceratops is the best one because one it's the hottest two it's the coolest Uh-oh. three it's hottest. the strongest i did i stutter uh n- n- no. <laughs> well, and, we we know what he said. And four, it's the most badass. And five, uh, Billy from Power Rangers. He goes Triceratops, and it sounds yes, like it. based. <laughs> oh God, it's just cool. All right, let me let me tell you what my favorite dinosaur is. Please tell me why you are wrong. It's a pterodactyl. Pterodactyls oh, are kind of cool. Pterodactyls are sick. They can fly. They look awesome. I've always loved pterodactyls. Anytime I see a pterodactyl in like any piece of media, I'm like, oh, it's a pterodactyl. Pterodactyls are so fucking cool, okay? And and similar to Jason's point, uh, the, the pink Power Ranger yells pterodactyl. I don't even know the bitch's name. Can't even I, I know Kim- her name. It's Kimberly. I, I just didn't say it. Mo, who, who's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, well, I thought that the Megalodon, which is a fucking giant shark, was considered a dinosaur, but I was Googling it just to be, like, super accurate. Apparently, it died out only 66 million years ago. It counts. So, no, I say it counts. You say it counts? If it's a big reptilian-esque creature that is extinct, I say it's a dinosaur. Well, no, it, it, it's a giant fucking shark. Yeah, but Sharks are reptilian-esque. No, yeah, they're not reptilian. Cat. No, they're. I don't even think they're close to reptilian, though. No, they're I, they're fucking no, aquatic. No, no, I mean in in the fact that they are cold blooded and have scales. That's I don't what know I, if those. I don't know if those two like really jive well together. You know, with the classification. Oh my god! Though. Just go with it. All right, all right, all right. Since uh, I don't really, I, I'm not like, uh, like I don't have too, I'm not too science minded on like the the specifications of you know like cold blooded and scales and dinos, reptiles versus sharks and and, and maybe amphibians or what. I don't even know what the fuck sharks are even classified as. Like fish? sharks are fish. <laughs> fish. Okay, so they are classified as fish then. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Fuck it. All right. You know what? Megalodon, Ankylosaur, uh, Triceratops, Ooh, the uh, Ankylosaurus. Yeah, that's hey, dude, a, Ankylosauruses are fucking awesome. They're Bro, they're, they're awesome. basically like ancient armadillos, and it's yeah, fucking they're, cool. They're, to the, to those not uh, well versed in dinosaur lore, the Ankylosaurus, <laughs> dino lore, as it's, as it's called in the circles. The Ankylosaurus is the dinosaur that looks like an armadillo, and it has a mm-hmm. huge fucking rock on it on the back end of its tail that it just yeah. smashes. Things. Yeah, it, it's just uh, it, it can fucking just crush a fucking T Rex's skull. 
Yeah, and it's, it's just soft. all sorts of badass. Like it, it's for D. De- it's like it, it's defense is like you know, ten out of ten top tier fucking armor. Because it, I think like ankylosaur, I think armor is like the the Latin. Like there's a some. It means like armored something. I think it means if I ankle. Recall. I think it means no, armored it? skeptic. Oh Shut God! The fuck no. Up, Demi Gloom. no, it's not boy ex boyfriends of YouTubers. Uh, it's it's absolutely not. God, it sucks that I know that because I do not I, care about yeah. that at all. I don't even know who Armored Skeptic is. All I know is that like alt right people on the kill stream have opinions about him. Oh yeah, because uh, everyone wants to fuck shoe on head, and Armored Ske- uh, Skeptic is uh, her ex boyfriend. Ah, okay. Armored Skeptic is the guy who actually fucks shoe on head, and they all mm-hmm. they're all jealous of him. <laughs> the one yeah, guy yeah. who dared to <laughs> do something <laughs> so impossible. Dude, like you don't understand, man. Like, uh, her and Boxy, uh, the 4chan was fucking obsessed with those two, and then everyone grew up and got pussy of their own, or died, or you know, just got off 4chan and went to Reddit. What pussy doesn't exist, it's just a myth. It feels like it right now, <laughs> but uh, um, well, pussy uh, exists, but the female orgasm doesn't no, exist, it, it's no, like a unicorn. Yeah. Does not exist. It is. It does not. It's just a myth. If it's real, then why haven't I seen one? See, this is why women don't like you know don't like us because we say shit like this and we actually fucking beat it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, fucking megalodon, ankylosaurus, uh, stegosaurus, triceratops, and uh, fucking raptors. Those are my top yeah. five. Let's go. I mean, really, to be honest, uh, if I were to really rank them, it would be uh, Ankylosaurus, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Megalodon, and uh, Raptor. If I if I if I were to rank them, it would be Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. (laughs) Oh, Sabertooth Tiger is cool. Dragonzord as an honorable mention. If it for me, it would be the uh the fucking triceratops, the the ch- flying chicken thing that's too hard to pronounce properly, uh the Edmontosaurus because it just looks funny as fuck. Uh, oh, that's the, the Canadian one, right? That's like sort of the offshoot of like, like the like it's Jewish. I don't know if I have. <laughs> I don't know if I want to expand upon that because I don't I. I wouldn't, you know what? I'm just not going to say anything. I don't want to get in trouble. Pussy. Nobody cares, pussy. <laughs> so, hold on. I, I, I don't know what qualifies. Four, the, I don't I'm, know. Shut what, up. Shut up. I'm talking. Number four would be the Tyrannosaurus Rex, specifically the one from Meet the Robinsons. That <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Home. That Shout well, out that, but that homie. Well, fuck. And I then, didn't know that we were, that we were uh, referencing also including like fictional dinosaurs and shit. It was your no, favorite fictional dinosaur. Possible with oh, the well, imagination. I don't know. Yeah, well, like let's. I'm gonna let Jello do uh, his and, thing. And then uh, my last, the last one I would choose is uh, the cassowary. Don't ignore the fact that it is actually just a bird, but uh, cassowary is number five. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, my favorite fictional well, dinosaur is no what. You don't, do you guys know what cassowaries are? Cassowaries? No. No. They're the closest living relative to dinosaurs. They're just like a big ground bird. And uh, straight up, they're like some of the most deadliest animals alive. Like their their beaks are sharp. Their talons are sharp. They're lightning fast. They're really aggressive if you come near their territory. Their eggs are bright green for some reason. And uh, they're terrifying. Do you think it could be one of the fight? Jason, I had a knife. <laughs> okay, I could be anything in a fight if I had a knife. That's my rule. If what I if didn't, the, have... what if the per- what if the thing you're beating in a fight also has a knife? Uh it would wear my skin. Uh, Fair that's enough. just it. I'm just gone. I'm dead. There's no chance. But anyway, best fictional dinosaur: the dad from Dinosaurs. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Bayus, <laughs> love shit, that. That, that was that was the one I was gonna pick. Shit, oh, now I got. Debbie's doing another. some weird heart shit that I didn't know was possible on Discord. Yeah, bro. You know what? Fuck it. 
Is there a oh, show have called you ever se- have you ever seen dinosaurs? No, I never got into dinosaurs as a kid. Oh, dude, yeah, there's a really great uh Disney uh uh show called oh. Dinosaurs. Oh, it's a, fucking, it's a oh. Disney show. What the fuck? No, yes, I it is. It was, yeah, no, it's a Disney. Yeah, it's okay, a Disney it, it channel. It might be owned show. on Dis- by Disney, but it definitely did not air on Disney Channel. <laughs> Nobody said it was on Disney Channel. Uh, well, if it's a Disney show, then ch- chances are I didn't watch it because I hate it. Was, it was probably like an ABC show, if I had to guess. Well, there's, I ne- there's I a- never watched Disney show. Yeah, it's a Disney a- show. It's on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, a, there's a good chance it was... <laughs> I fucking googled dinosaurs, fully expecting to get the TV show without any further clarification. Yeah, do you didn't put TV show at the end of dinosaurs, did you? I'm like, oh, I'm just looking at the Wikipedia article for dinosaurs as a concept. This isn't what I'm looking for. Oh, you stupid shit. Okay, yeah, it, it it was owned by by Disney, and in fact, it did air reruns on Disney Channel at some point. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I kind of remember it being on like regular normal TV, like ABC or NBC or something like that. I think as a kid, because it did come out at nighttime, like right around the time everyone else was watching, like you know the regular bullshit uh, TV shows. And I remember when I went to uh, when I went to. Uh, Disneyland when I was a fucking kid and it was canceled for a while and they had fucking posters like we're bringing back dinosaurs yay so I remember that man the finale of dinosaurs is so fucked up dude yeah it's fucking sad did they all die from a meteor <laughs> no no ice age oh yeah that, like it, was is yeah. this show a prequel to the ice age movies well I mean I guess you can like say it could be canon but uh, yeah, like oh, what happened at the very yeah at the very end of it because uh, no no one was taking I guess global warming or whatever seriously in the uh, early to mid nineties, and so they uh, ended the show with uh, the dinosaurs world being frozen fucking over, and the Sinclair family was gathered around the TV, and they were watching the big weather reports, and outside everything's just getting uh, snowier and snowier and snowier. So that's the canonical end of the show. They die like all the dinosaurs die like that, even though it was nowhere close to what they aired last because of fucking shitty production order versus airing order. Why do shows do this? This is the largest issue in the galaxy, okay? It's fucking shows that air their episodes outside of production order when there's, like, established lore that is built throughout the episodes in production order. It's so stupid. Riley, some episodes of TV shows take a longer time to make, and when you have a set schedule to make money, or or else you uh, get the entire show canceled prematurely... It kind of just needs to happen. But then at least they should be released in production order on streaming services, and they never are. That's fair. I hate it when shows will have like a holiday episode or something like that, and then the ending of the, the season will happen. But at the very, very end of the season, they they uh, air the uh, the Halloween or Christmas or whatever episode. And it's always like the episode before like the big event in the season in the show happens. And so like all the characters are still around. Some that died aren't dead yet. And it's just it always like fucked with my head a little bit as a kid. I hated that because <laughs> the, the Halloween special where the characters alive airs after the episode where they die. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, it doesn't, it's not necessarily Halloween. It, it's like a holiday episode. But yeah, well, I just said Halloween is like a holiday oh, okay. spot in okay. any holiday special. Dude, any show without a Halloween special is stupid. That's not true, because Mr. Robot doesn't have a Halloween special. Well, maybe they should have. No. I've only Bra- ever watched one. Breaking episode Bad of- didn't have a holiday or a Halloween special, and thus it's stupid. <laughs> Bad show. That's true. Breaking Bad is stupid. <laughs> they didn't even have a Thanksgiving episode or Christmas episode or anything. Can you name a single TV show that has a Thanksgiving episode? What? Can you name a single TV show that actually has a Thanksgiving episode? 
That's probably oh, a few. Like, mostly like all the shows in the 80s and 90s because all the shows in the 80s and 90s always did all of the, like usually all of the big uh, uh, holidays, you know, like New Year's, uh, Valentine's Day, 4th of July. Uh, sometimes Easter. you get those episodes with, uh, you know, Labor Day and stuff like that. They usually be like the workers. Ro- Hold Easter. on, man. Don't don't talk over me. I'm not done yet. I'm uh... Well, I can barely hear you, and you... Uh, anyway, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, they, they would do all the big major uh, holidays, usually in the 80s and 90s and shit. Dude, you know what's sick? Turok. Turok's a fucking badass game, and a badass comic book. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never seen the comic book, but the game is, like, so rad. Can we talk about Dino Train for a little bit? Uh, What's Dino yeah, Train? Yeah, tell me. Oh, isn't that that fucking preschool show? <laughs> I don't even know what it was, but I, I just remember I've only ever seen one episode. But I remember that, that the concept of a bunch of dinosaurs on a train was so badass. That is pretty sick. And the fact that like the main characters are a bunch is a family of pterodactyls is really cool because pterodactyls are just kind of like the universally loved dinosaur. Uh, right next to T-Rex. All right. So have, she, you, have you seen Dino Trucks, the show where there's dinosaur monster trucks? <laughs> I vaguely <laughs> remember something like that as a kid. It hasn't. That, that show came out in like the 2000s. So you definitely don't remember it for me. In fact, I think it was the 2010s, what the fuck? Mo. <laughs> so, no way, really? Yeah. Okay, then I guess it wasn't his kid. I, I, I guess I remember it from my 30s. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Probably there's a good possibility. I've smoked a lot of weed and, you know, like not right now, but like, you know, throughout my life, there's a good chance that like some fucking dino shit got fucking just like uh, mixed in with the mix. You know what I mean? But uh, since you two, uh, well, you three sort of surprised me sometimes with your uh, uh, your knowledge of things in the past. There is two fucking dinosaur themed uh, shows that I loved as a kid. Denver, the last, yeah, Denver, the last dinosaur. It Heard was, it? Uh, yeah, it, it's a fucking show in uh, about like radical kids in the eighties, and uh, uh, Denver, who's like a like a little baby brontosaurus, but he hangs out with all the humans and stuff, right? That's sick, dude. It, it is pretty fucking sick, <laughs> and the uh, the 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 song, the theme song, is super memorable. And the I feel other like I've one, heard like Dan Avidan sing that on an episode of Game Grumps because he's also old. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, the second one from my childhood is Dinosaucers. Now, this gives like a, a lot of uh, leeway <laughs> to the uh, people who believe that dinosaurs were actually aliens. Like Rick and Morty recently in their latest uh, season just did something like this. And uh, uh, yeah, dinosaurs are aliens. And they gave a uh, incredibly diverse uh, uh, section of '80s uh, teenagers uh, these little fucking dinosaur-like power rings, where they could just go, "Hey, T Rex, come over here!" And the leader of the team, of course, is a T Rex, and they fight the bad guy team, which is like, well, all the other ones, like a pterodactyl, the other like a uh, evil T Rex, and and all like just Google it. But yeah, dinosaur uh, saucers, man. This shit's fucking crazy. It's a fucking cool, uh, cool little fucking kid show. I've I've never heard of Dino Saucers, <laughs> dude. It's eighties as fuck, and so is fucking Denver, the last dinosaur too. So uh, you know, be prepared if you like Google this shit, man. It's it's going to blow your mind. Like it's like Captain N and the video game masters and stuff. Like go check it out and, and the Legend of Zelda cartoon. Denver, the last airbender. No, not the last airbender, last dinosaur. Yes. Denver, the la- Denver, Colorado. That's where yeah. the last airbender lives. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. Do you guys remember Dino Squad? I do uh, not. Very vaguely. <laughs> the theme song goes hard, bro. Do you guys remember dinosaurs? On a beautiful beach not far away, I went to visit for a day. No? Got covered oh, with some gooey that. ooze that changed my DNA. <laughs> oh, I, I can relate. 
can we talk about the best dinosaur show literally like any season of power rangers let's go yeah no nah, i i got something i got something that's better than any power rangers uh 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 Highly doubt, season. but tell us. No, fucking Beast Wars, man. Transformers Beast Wars. Fuck the fuck that shit. Overrated. Nah. Fuck you, man. No, that shit was fucking great. Optimus Prime is a fucking gorilla. It's fucking awesome, man. And there's fucking dinosaurs in there, too. It's fucking yeah, great. But the main focus oh. isn't dinosaurs, so I don't really care. Demi Gloom, what's your favorite dinosaur show? There's also the dino cro- the dino bots in fucking Transformers. Me, Grimlock, hate this shit. Can you use a fucking dumbass fucking T-Rex? Okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. Man, fuck you. <laughs> He's just making shit up. He's senile. It's not real. <laughs> oh, the fucking, no. Fucking dino, to, no, di- dino bots do fucking exist. No, okay. back in nine days, I was attacked by dinosaurs on my way to school. <laughs> Well, you know, I should have realized that I was in the fucking raptor fucking uh, neighborhood. And they were like, <sighs> and they were like, you know, oh, oh, oh. You know, we, I, I don't think we can get Mo tonight because I think Mo, when he was so insistent when we talk about dinosaurs, he had to be painfully aware that how much of this episode was going to be us calling him old and saying that he was amongst the dinosaurs. <laughs> no, actually, to be real, I didn't even think about that. So I was just like, fuck yeah, dinosaurs, you know, like, all right, these fucking children. I was like, yeah, these fucking children will find me and these fucking kids will finally have something we have in common. Instead, it's been like, you're old, you're bald, you're old, you're bald, dinosaur, 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 dinosaur you're dinosaur. old. <laughs> Demi, what's your favorite dinosaur cartoon and or TV show? Um, Yoshi. <laughs> I don't think it's a cartoon and or TV show, but I'll take it. There was the Super Mario World show with Yoshi oh, in it. Oh, yeah, was, that is real. Super Mario, Super Super Mario Brothers Mario. Super Show? Super no, Mario. Super Mario, Mario World. Brothers, yeah. the Clemens are game. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We're working on a with drain. Mario World? Yeah, it's a completely different fucking uh, uh, show, Riley. Th- when you say Super completely Mario Bros. different show, is, is it not like Mario's voice by the same guy and like it's genuinely pretty much the same show, but just named differently? OK, OK, Riley, Riley, I don't know any of the specifics. OK, all I know is that Super Mario Brothers show and Super Mario World had different theme songs. And when I was a kid, that's how <laughs> you differentiated different show. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, that is true. Super Mario World. He said, let's from the out. What are we figuring out? No, they had they had a different, completely different casts. Wow, Walker Boone is Mario. What the fuck? That's not Captain <laughs> Lou Albano at all. <laughs> There's also the Super Mario Bros. Three show. Shout out the Tyrannosaurus Rex from uh, Super Mario Odyssey. The Adventures of Super Mario Brothers Three. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 3, the iconic character who goes on adventures. <laughs> Yo, King Koopa's cool cartoons. <laughs> people don't realize there was like fucking there's like eight fucking Mario cartoons and people only know about Super Show. Oh yeah, that is that is kind of true. Well, it, it is the most popular one. Yeah, because it was the best. Oh god, no. The live action shit was like the good part. Of that Super show. Mario Brothers yeah. Super Show only aired for like a month and a half. Bro, t- really? Want that Toad's head is not actually his head, but a fucking hat he uses as a parachute. That that blew my fucking. That was bigger than the like twist that like. I don't fucking know the twist that love the Andrew Ryan twist from Bioshock can't even beat that shit out. <laughs> a man was, chooses a slave a, obeys. A slave obeys. <laughs> And, and then, then I really watch as you don't understand Jack. He uses his head as a fucking parachute. It's the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Yeah, no, but it only aired for like <laughs> a month and a half because I guess I guess it was one of those shows where they did like a new episode like five days a week. They did like Monday through Friday airing. So there's like 52 episodes that aired within like from like the beginning of October to the end of November in 1989. And that was I- it. I just remember it going on for a lot longer than that, I guess. Well, probably because of reruns <laughs> and syndication. 
Oh, yeah, true that, true that. Holy Dude. shit, the Discord status like tracks where I'm at in the game. That's awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You fucker. It literally says I'm chatting with Eurydice, and that's what I'm doing in Hades. So awesome. I'm putting it on the Constitution. It's going to be an amendment. You, you've, you've made me get to that literally point. Literally nobody's going to follow. Well, the contents of the amendment is you just have to convince me that you're not playing a video game. I don't care if you are. You just have to not fucking talk about it. That is my problem. That is the complaint okay, I yeah, get. But, the, but Riley, but Riley, 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 you don't understand. The Discord status like now tracks where I'm at in the game, and that's really cool. Like, look, it, says I'm, it says I went from chatting with Eurydice to battling my way out of Asphodel, and that's what's happening. I don't know what those words mean, but I, I. <laughs> there are places in both Greek mythology and in Hades. Does anybody remember? Is it called Dino King? That there was an anime where they did like dinosaur fighting. <laughs> it was pretty sick. I think. I think hey, yo, like dinosaur cock fighting. It aired on like the four kids. Yo, block. yo, we should like do like a dinosaur tournament. <laughs> Stop! My, Shut my that my off. My triceratops. What are you talking about? All right, and let me go update the issue crew constitution real quick. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's not me, Jason. Oh. <laughs> Demi, you silly goose, you tricked me. <laughs> Pretty funny. I had oh. to do it before the amendment was passed, okay? Can you blame me? Yeah, the amendment is passed, no more. Oh, it's only going to be funny like right now, but next time it happens, it'll be very fucking annoying. I'm Ooh. sorry for I'm how I acted. It will happen again. That was I'm sorry I acted autistic. It will happen again. <laughs> but all right, gamers, let we, we gotta talk more about dinosaurs. All right, Modigini, what should did we anybody, talk about? Dinosaurs. <laughs> did anybody mention Dinosaur Train? Yes. Yes. Jason did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we talk? Oh, what's the fucking um? Shit. What's the? F Oh, I was thinking of Dragon Tales. That's not dinosaurs. Dragon Tales, dragons. No, fuck we can't yeah. talk about it. It's not. Are dragons dinosaurs, though? I think that's no. the real debate that needs to happen. No, they're reptilian. Wait, Demi, do you remember Dino Squad? No. Fuck. Wait, that sounds familiar. Let me look this up. Can we talk about. Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> I do remember Dino Squad. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> they they got covered with some gooey ooze that changed their DNA. Whoa, dude. <laughs> I've never heard of a TV show like that. That's a crazy <laughs> original show. <laughs> On concept. a beautiful beach not far away. <laughs> that's that's a ripoff of another show about um people that turn into like half animals because they're exposed to a weird science thing. Uh the show's called Street Sharks. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> fucking but, street hey, not, that's not dinosauric at all though but it's still a great show street sharks is a pretty blatant uh rip off of another show however well yeah but ninja turtles but ninja turtles aren't fucking dinosaurs either i think they fought some dinosaurs like they had the yeah, triceratops yeah, yeah. ones there's the triceratops dude i think yeah. there was another dinosaur guy triceratops that might have been a later series though dinosaurs okay I want to talk about like, let's be real. Every any anybody who was like in the space and sh and shit like in elementary school had nothing on the people who are into dinosaurs. I was into space, and it was my it was my dream to become and I an astronaut. You. And then and then I learned that the Earth was flat, and all of NASA's photos of the Earth were CGI, and that space isn't real. Well, I forgive you. <laughs> All the all the kids who are like in the space and on the dinosaurs are fucking lame. I'm so upset. Riley, can you tell everybody to shut up? I was into fucking Mario when I was a little kid. Speaking of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, that was like my favorite show when I was like fucking five. I didn't even I didn't even know Mario was a video game. I was just like, yo, it, it was like what Riley said about Sonic. 
I was just like, yo, there's Mario video games. Holy shit. It's crazy. Wait, did Riley know about the Sonic cartoon before the big games? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I watched Sonic that's X as so, a kid before I knew what Sonic video so games were. That's fucking lame. <laughs> I walked into the Walmart and they told me to pick one DS game and I saw Sonic Rush and I was like, there's a Sonic video game? And that was your first Sonic game? Yes. Oh my god. I feel bad for you. Riley, why? Can I, can I just ask why? I don't know. Are, are, are we even going to pretend Sonic games are good, though? Like, no, it even they are good. we don't have to pretend no. they are. Yes, no? let's go. No, there are like no, three they, that are they, good. No, they, no, they're, they're not. There's uh, Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball are fucking awesome. Five yeah, great ones the right there. Five Hold games, on. great games right there. And there's that one really good Dreamcast one. The rest no, of them have fucking been terrible. No, diggity, you just named four great games and one awful game. What the uh, fuck are you talking no, about? No, Sonic Spinball five. is awful. Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> fucking moron. Can we not make this episode about great... something lame? And make no, it we're, we're going to do the Sonic episode. episode. No. And then no, there's Sonic, some yeah, Sonic who's not present who has to be here for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I will fight fucking two tooth and nail for you bastard uh, against you bastards for sonic i spinball. hate sonic so fucking much sonic spinball is fucking great He's... and there's five maybe six really great sonic games the rest of them have been Yo, like arguably sonic, awful. the best sonic game is sonic r and that's like the most hated sonic there are game more ever. good sonic games than bad sonic games i oh said my God. it wait, fuck demi, demi, holy you, fuck wait, hold on no 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 hold on demi did you just say sonic r is the most hated you really want to go with that as your answer? Oh, oh, well, I'm sure Sonic 06, but like, that's just like, like, no, there's not even a human being on Earth that tries to justify that game's existence. It might as well not even I count. do. I do. I'm glad Sonic 06 exists. Okay, but is it a good game? Sonic 06 and Sonic Boom are both good it's, memes, so they have a reason to it's exist. It's not a good game, but it's a great time. I don't, dude, like, Sonic was like, okay, so like, Sonic Boom and like, shit like that is a great time, right? Like, it's like... You know, like, so bad that you can, like, find some enjoyment out of it, like, AVGN style. But, like, fucking Sonic 06. Fucking Sonic 06 is just, like, so, like, frustrating. It's so good. Like, I can't. No. Uh, no, I can't sit through it. Like, I can't even, like, play I mean, it for the Sonic lols. Sonic is a human woman. Oh, you don't yeah, have to play that, it yourself for the lols. You just watch other people play it for the lols. Yeah, that's the one where he bangs, like, a human chick, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. I mean, that, Sonic, that was... is, Sonic is human for all intents and purposes. So, like, why does it matter? No, he's a hedgehog. It, 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 does, it definitely does not morally matter within the world of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, because within the world of Sonic the Hedgehog, like, these, like, half animals are, like, functionally human beings on a, cogn a cognitive level. So, like, I really end. wish you would stop talking. It's literally true, though. Like, what is your rebuttal to this? <laughs> yeah, what, like, what is your rebuttal? It's gross. Uh it is gross. Uh, it really is. The fact no, my, listen, my gut reaction listen, is more important. Facts yes. don't care about your feelings. You fucking yes, troglodyte. I am, listen, I'm the most important person here. We all know this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Did you did you get monetized, Jason? Are you monetized? True, Demi got monetized, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Whoa! Fuck. Oh damn! Fuck I can't wait. Really yeah. me. I am monetized. And have the rest of your videos be demonetized. Why would my videos get demonetized? Because it happens to everybody. Let's be real. Look, I don't know if you guys know this, but I just recently put like a sweet freaking uh, clip show of all my like Call of Duty freaking streams on my no TikTok cares. recently. And it's like doing some numbers. Who? <laughs> cares. <laughs> <laughs> who? Wait, Mo, who? Me. Wait, 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 Mo, Mo, you said you uploaded your clips to uh, to uh, TikTok. <laughs> I was just being stupid. Sorry. Oh, for real? Let's just let's just fucking drop this. <laughs> yeah. fucking stupid. Wait, 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 I made Mo. I made a stupid Mo. joke. And it's like falling off the rails, Mo, and I really about... What did you post? Was it a clip show of your streams? Yeah, just some like stream. Let's I just do not drop give a it. Shit. I do not <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't care. Fuck you. Guys. Fuck you. Guys. Fuck you. How have we gone this long in an episode about dinosaurs without talking about Jurassic Park? Well, we were going to get to that. I'm actually going to mention that. You want to hear my cardinal sin? That you haven't seen it? 
I have not seen the original Jurassic Park. I've, I've in fact, only what? seen one Jurassic Park movie, and it's like the worst one from what I'm told. And it Which was pretty one? Bad. Three? The new Jurassic Park. Oh, no. The new Jurassic World. Oh, Jurassic uh, not, World. Not, not the sucks. newest Jurassic World, but uh, Jurassic World 2. Oh, God. Jurassic There's World three. 1 and 2 yeah. suck. Yeah, yeah there is three. Yeah, J- Jurassic World Domination, which is arguably the best one the of the three, one. but not by a whole lot. I liked the first Jurassic World. I thought it was pretty cool. And then when I saw there was a sequel, I was like, that's fucking stupid. Like, it had a, it, it like ended perfectly. There was no reason to like revisit this. I don't want to see more fucking Chris Pratt. Fuck Chris Pratt, you fucking shitty actor. Fuck you, I you love Chris Pratt. piece of shit. See, listen, now I like Chris, Chris Pratt, Pratt is even not more. Always, Chris Pratt is not always good, but listen, Guardians of the Galaxy, okay? Sorry, it's real. It's yeah. good. I hate when people complain about shit like like Chris Pratt because like I know for a fact that all these people complaining are gonna go see the Guardians of the Galaxy three. Yeah, you know they are, and they're going to see the fucking yeah. Guardians of the don't Galaxy Christmas pretend. special coming out uh, next don't even month. Try and pretend that they're not gonna do it. Yeah, it's also, like all are you fucking... telling me? Are you telling me there's nobody that you yes. like? Are you criticizing people for separating the art from the artist? Because it seems like something you would seriously advocate for. Uh, no, Who I'm just talking. To I, you? I'm just. <laughs> I'm just complaining about hypocrites on the internet. Well, saying criticizing Chris Pratt and then going to watch a movie that stars Chris Pratt is not like hypocritical at all. Yeah, but the people who sit who do that kind of shit are too dumb to separate the art from the artist. Sorry, oh, the so, art from the so, artist. <laughs> sorry, also, Chris Pratt was the funniest character in Parks and Rec. So me, me, when, when when people I don't like do it, it's cringe. But when I do it, it's based. yes. Yes, oh, for real? Exactly. I, I, I'm, 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 I am so glad you are finally starting to understand, Demi Gloom. God, you people are fucking stupid. <laughs> no, you don't you don't you don't understand. When I do it, it's separating the art from the artist. When you do it, it's hypocrisy. Yes. yes. That stupid voice that I'm doing, that's you. I don't see the problem here. Wait, you are criticizing people for being a hypocrite when what you're doing is literally the definition of hypocrisy by admitting I'm that so when somebody glad else does it. get it. <laughs> See, Guys, like, there's, there's, learning. there's nothing you can say to Jason. Because, like, Jason's one of those people that, like, if you respond with like a hyperbolic version of his argument, he just responds with a fucking Chad Yes gif. There's no, there's okay. nothing you can do. Every time well, you ask, you people, start you're invincible. Question. You are Demi, invincible. You- <laughs> Demi, you like to do this thing where you start questions with, <laughs> so you're telling me, and I just want you to, like, anytime you're going to ask a question, just assume the answer is yes. Yes, it always which is why, which is which makes you indestructible. It's a fucking cheat code. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, so you just, so you think it's okay to just use a fucking cheat code that rids you of all accountability, and then you're going to be like, yeah. Like, there's nothing, really? there's nothing you could say to you. And you know yeah. what? Fuck you, I respect it. It's funny. Guys, you don't understand. If you if you just go under the guise of comedy, it's all fine. I'm now free of any criticism. You guys cannot. Uh, comedy is subjective, so you guys can't say anything or do anything. Moral of the story: I'm based. You're not. Damn. Everybody except me is cringe, and I'm based. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Like me, Grapefruit, Joe Dart, Chuck <laughs> Conroy. Those are the base people in the world. And Meryl. And attacking two cans. No. What's wrong with attacking two cans? He made Chuck <laughs> Conroy uncomfortable. Listen. Attacking two cans did the a very base thing, which was consider coming on Demi Gloom's podcast and then realizing it was the issue crew and then and then like <laughs> completely ghosting me. Okay, just because you do a base thing doesn't make you base, but that was very based. <laughs> Dude, can, can I tell? Can I expose the attacking two cans story real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know who this person is. Okay, so attacking two cans is like a subscriber with like something hundred thousand subscribers. He's a big, big. He's let's a subscriber YouTuber. with a hundred thousand subscribers. Sorry, a YouTuber with like <laughs> how many subs does he have? He's like three hundred k. And he's like one of like the OG like let's play. He's like second wave let's player. And he's uh, yeah, like, oh, he's got like two fifty three k. And um, I was like, I I did my usual fucking podcast copy pasta because this is the only universal one I could spam send to every YouTuber I know with more subscribers than me. Hey there, I'm oh. wondering if you're willing to make podcast appearances. My friends and I just started a new show, and we'd love to have you on if you're willing and available. 
He says, hello, hope you're having a good day. Can you send me a link to your podcast, please? And then I sent him a link to the issue crew, and he <laughs> never responded again. That's so bad. <laughs> Munchie from the PCP literally did the same thing to me two years ago when I invited him on Pokemon Variety Hour. <laughs> was this be- was this pre, like, Mum- uh, Munchie purging everything he did on the yes, internet? Yes. <laughs> he had to have still had a Twitter account for me to DM, so yes. <laughs> See, attacking Toucans, he saw he saw the title The Issue Crew and just vomited it in his mouth and just blocked you instantly. Yeah. Honestly, I would do that too. You see, I tried to like go around and do like a copy paste to like invite cool people on the show. And then I quickly realized I had sent like two or three people a copy paste that was basically asking them to be a co-host <laughs> because I fucked it up and I did not specify guests. Oh my god, you were <laughs> such a fucking moron. So <laughs> you, you didn't you didn't invite Trixie, did you? No, I invited uh, okay. the the biggest cele- quote unquote celebrity I invited was a guy who used to be on Blastford Radio, <laughs> and he ghosted uh, me probably because he thought I was inviting him to be a co host. <laughs> did you try and clarify yourself at all after you figured no, it out? No, because I felt so. Def- I just edited the post hoping he hadn't seen it yet, and I was wrong, and then just went about my day. That's you're oh you are so dead brained. Although I kind of did so- I did something a little similar I. Uh, t- today, right before the Zoom class I had to attend started, I did this funny thing where I forgot to switch my capture card out of desktop mode, so I turned on my camera and <laughs> everybody could just see me playing Xenoblade 3. That's really funny! <laughs> and, like, and like, I I immediately turned off my camera, and my t- and I also forgot to mute my mic, so I'm just like, why? And everybody... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thankfully, my teacher's based as fuck. It was, it was like, oh, cool. All right. Anyways, class. <laughs> I, um, I, I, I do like virtual uh, therapy appointments or like with my psychiatrist. And uh, I, tr- I tried to turn my camera on and I, I, I completely forgot that I like tried out this like VTuber software <laughs> without, <laughs> with, <laughs> without even I didn't even like create an avatar. So it was just like the most like shitty, like default like oh fucking like God. like ps2 graphics like guy <laughs> that just like showed up when i turned on my camera i was like whoa 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 sorry sorry about that um your therapist saw that and immediately started taking notes yeah <laughs> <laughs> and so when I was did like, this start? <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly and i was like uh uh sorry sorry uh uh my webcam's not uh, my, my web, web uh, my camera's not working i'm gonna have to keep it off <laughs> It just sounded like this, like, PS2 model for, like, two seconds. (laughs) Like, what the fuck? Dude, I should fuck with my- I should fuck with my soundboard in my (laughs) virtual therapy meetings. Then in very few virtual (laughs) meetings, uh, (laughs) um... I, like, psychologically torture my own therapist. (laughs) Just play, like, a... And, like, in the middle of a therapy call. (laughs) 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 The, the the only story I have that's anywhere close to that is during my virtual job interview. I was in like a really nice shirt and like basketball shorts, and I'm pretty sure I accidentally angled the camera down, and they saw the basketball shorts at some point. <laughs> so they still uh, hired me. So. That happens to the best of us. <laughs> was, that, was that the place you're working at now? Yes. Oh damn! It happens to the best of us, champ. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure like everybody does that. I'm pretty sure like. Fucking Joe Biden is wearing basketball shorts. <laughs> Let's you guys don't like wear pants for Zoom meetings at all. No. Why? Why would I put on pants for a Zoom meeting? Yeah, exactly. Not gonna see exactly. Like, what that's what I'm asking. Yeah. That's like, why I, I sh- that's why I show up to picture day at school wearing like a fucking tuxedo and then like Adam Sandler basketball shorts. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fit, bro. Oh, I always forget about fucking picture day. I've never looked good on picture day one time in my fucking no. life. Every single I time I forget. I'm like, oh shit, it's picture day. Fuck. Uh, uh, that's a lie. When I was a kid, my mother t- 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 kept track of when picture day was. But once she stopped, I I did not pick up the slack. <laughs> Bro, it's so dumb either way, because they always like force you to like smile and then you smile in the most awkward way and they're like, yep, that's it. We're using that. And they like they're like, all right, I want you to turn your head to the side a little bit, and then like, all right, now all right, show some a little more teeth, okay, okay. And then they put this fucking flashlight. They put this fucking flashlight in your face, and it, it's the ugliest fucking photo ever. Fuck yeah. school photographers; they're the worst. 
It's that in the fucking DMV too, because the DMV, yes. the building is designed to like suck out all the joy in your fucking face. And like, it just makes you like, no matter if it's like cold or hot outside, it's always shitty and muggy in there and stinky in there. And your hair is, uh, there's just like weirdly placed fucking air conditioning vents. So your hair is always going to be fucked up. And I've never taken a good fucking photo at the DMV like ever in my life. It's always so I fucking smiled. hot that like by the time by the time you're done like waiting in line for like nine fucking hours, you're like sweating to death and your hair is all greasy. Yeah. You're just completely I fucked. I only had Listen. one DMV experience and it actually went very smoothly and only took like 10 minutes to get my driver's permit. And I smiled during that photo. Holy shit, that's insane. Um, listen, just tell them you're Jewish and wear a beanie. That's that's my that's my hot tip. What what's the point of doing that? What's that get you? You could wear a beanie so you, you don't have to show off your ugly ass fucking sweaty ass hair from sitting in the DMV for nine hours of the blazing heat. Just oh, like, I, Yo, didn't, I'm I Jewish. didn't know that was a thing. I'm t- I saw some guy on Reddit said it worked. Okay, so it must be true. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> that that explains it. That explains it. All right. Fuck you, mom. Some guy on Reddit said that's not true. I'm not a simp. My internet friends called me king. See. <laughs> my, my internet friends call me king. So dumb. <laughs> So dinosaurs, dude, I love dress. I love the first two Jurassic Park movies, and I love the Tyrannosaurus Rex from Mario Odyssey that you can possess because you become a dinosaur and you can do a really sick speed run skip with it. It's like super easy to do, but it still makes you feel cool. Cool. You guys remember uh, the, the dinosaur Andrew. from uh, the Cleveland game for the PS3? Yes. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What? Shut up. Mo, Mo, That's do you not remember, real. Mo, do you remember the Cleveland game? Don't let her gaslight you, Mo. It's some No, I've never dick. heard of that one before. You've never played the Cleveland What about the American Dad game for the PS3? Do you remember that when that came out? It was I like a glitchy there's mess. A fa- I know that there's a Family Guy uh, a Family Guy game or a couple of them, but I've never heard of the other two. Yeah, no, there's a Cleveland show and an American there's Dad game not, that came out there's... on the PS3. <laughs> Shut up. Cleveland Brown, and I'm proud to be. I would fucking play the shit out of it, though. Yeah. The Cleveland show was so good. It was such a great show. It was I'm written so that, well. Yeah, I'm, I'm pissed that it actually got canceled because I love the shit out of it. It had, like, so many fucking cool things in it, man. It's funny because yeah. Demi was being ironic and Mo Diggity is not being ironic. Yeah, I'm, so I'm being I'm being I'm being half ironic, okay? Because I actually do like the Cleveland show, but I do have like obviously I have problems with it. Obviously, like the black pandering was like very cringe. It was like, okay, Seth, shut the fuck up. Like Did they ever it. did they actually change Cleveland's voice actor? Yeah, no, it was it was That's actually so per- gay. Well, listen, it was the dude like stepped down, he said, like, hey, I felt that um you know, oh, playing this role yeah. was culturally inappropriate. That's so and dumb. I decided to yeah, resign. That is the stupidest fucking thing. Well, listen, they they made a based decision, okay? And there's this YouTuber. It's not like, based. Uh, it's listen, not based. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Guys, this what, funny whether, YouTuber I watched said it was okay. No, listen, okay? So whether or not you like the fact that the guy resigned from his position as Cleveland Brown, um how they addressed it. Be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen whether or not you like that guy whether or not you agree with his decision to stop voicing cleveland um fox or whoever was behind family guy made a based decision and they hired this guy who was like a youtuber who did like uh cleveland brown impersonations or That's impressions really funny and uh he, he like i i used to watch this dude back in the day he used, he used to make like a uh, fucking like cleveland brown and joe swanson play fucking black ops 3 videos and it was really funny I probably seen those because I've seen a bunch of uh, old like COD games where like Family Guy members and characters. Yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. That was he was that was all him. At least for, like the bit like the the viral videos like this dude. Oh, cool. And they, cool. And they decided they decided they're like, yo, let's just let this guy voice Cleveland because he's got the fucking voice down. And I was like, shit, based. I never watch videos like that for TV shows, but I did watch the the actual official videos where like characters from Dragon Ball Z abridged played video games. <laughs> the, the, those are pretty sick. 
I love right, their I like Dragon Ball. I'm fat, and I have oh, Dragon Ball. Z, yeah. oh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Oh. Dragon cock. That's why I suck. These people are heathens. These, these are the non-base members of the issue crew. Dragon Ball Z, more like fuck you. The issue crew, good members only group <laughs> chat should just be Mimo and Andrew because we're the only ones who like the best show on the planet. Shit. Mo doesn't know about that, does he? <laughs> no, he does not. That was supposed to be a secret from all other <laughs> issue crew members. Fuck that! It's so fucking stupid. I, I never signed off on that shit. What is the secret? We have a group <laughs> chat called Issue Crew, uh, the good members only, and you're yeah. not in it. Just, oh, bitch! Fucking <laughs> put me in there. I fucking deserve to be in there. I'm a good member. It's no, it, it's a fucking meme group, group chat. chat. It was D- Demi made a group chat with like Jason, Ida, and me, and then somebody thought it'd be really funny to change the name to Issue Crew Good Members Only. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I named it that, but um, it was it was literally just our group chat to like call when we play Minecraft and fuck around. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes it's sense. not like it's not like we're actually like plotting against the other Issue Crew members. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, I'm we're, fine. We're gonna kill Hartsy, Andrew, and Mo. We're plotting their demise. <laughs> no, I, I was fine with that. I just wanted to be involved. That's that's all I wanted. But all right, it's it's just the me, so it's all he, good. He's fine with Hartsy and Andrew being left out. He just didn't want to be left out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the good at members only group chat would just be me and me. And did I mention? <laughs> what, what the fuck is your alt account? Let's go. Hamoud. Yeah, Hamoud. Jason and Hamoud. Hamoud, Hamoud, a baby, Hamoud, a baby, Hamoud. <laughs> no, it would be Riley and uh, Cynthia Forty Two, which is my alt. Oh, oh, yeah. Gloom, Larry the Libertarian, Gloom Forty One. I pretended to be a girl in a Discord server once, and then I just like had that account, so it like became my alt for any alt purposes that I needed. So <laughs> that's why my alt is Cynthia Forty Two. You yeah. guys know about uh, Nisage? Can't say I have. Nisage, he's a he's a really cool guy. Is it you? You're Nisage, aren't you? No, Nisage is uh is a YouTuber that I know. Really cool guy. Nisage. Is it this guy named Deaky Boss? <laughs> he's pretty cool. Is, there's this guy named Deaky Boss who tried to buy feet pictures from me and Claudia <laughs> Ferris and then had a suicidal breakdown because we said no. Because A, I'm not selling pictures of my feet, and B, Felonius Ferris is like nineteen. What does that have to do with anything that Felonius Ferris is 19? Diggy Boss is like 13. Oh, I don't know shit about Diggy Boss. Guys, I've been lying to you about my ages. I have to admit. Your ages? I literally was on the school bus with Jason. I know what fucking age he is. I'm actually eight years old. (laughs) Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, that's crazy, bro. My IQ is just inc- I've I've been making up this story about me. That was my uh, alternate personality. You guys have actually just been talking to uh my schizophrenic breakdown that I called Jellio. The real Jason does not exist. <laughs> He's just a figment of our imagination. Maybe the real Jason was the the friends we made. The friends the we made along the way. Oh, certainly. Ooh. What is that even from? Where does that o- originate? The friends we made along the way bit. I have no idea. It came from the friends we made along the way. Debbie, you have to Google this now because now I'm curious. Friends we oh, guys, sucked along the way. Guys, I have a question. What's up? What? Can I go pee? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Don't talk shit about me while I'm gone. I'll be listening. I have okay. ears everywhere. Do you guys know any shit about Jason that we could talk about? Uh. Well, I, I mean, I know plenty of shit. Demi, what the fuck did I just say? A bodybuilding forum? What? Here's a secret. Here's a secret. Here's a secret. Jason is short. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's that's some hot goss right there. <laughs> Wait, is Shorty? Why does I say Shorty? Is Hartsy shorter than Jason? Yes. <laughs> what are the What are the issue crew heart, height rankings? I know Hartsy's at the bottom. <laughs> I'm five ten. I don't know where that puts me. How, how tall are you, Mo? Uh, six flat. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm the tallest member of the issue crew. 
Yeah, you're like fucking six four, six five, right? I'm no, not quite. I'm six three. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's fat though, so it doesn't count. You you got your height divided by your. And I'm trying to remember how Edith's height. I know she's told us. I I know Hartsey's like two foot five. He's at the bottom. <laughs> Ida is the same height as Demi, and also, fuck you, Riley. Second <laughs> off, when you said I was short, I farted, and I think, and I thought of you. <laughs> okay. I love taking my Bluetooth headphones into the bathroom with me. <laughs> this right is it. pretty sick. <laughs> it's so awesome. You guys just don't get it. Yeah, I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't get the I don't get the meme. It's not a good meme. All right, someone else go to the bathroom so I can gossip about him. Hey, this is future Jason in editing here to tell you that um, basically uh, the next conversation we have is unairable because, uh, well, for multiple reasons. But um, basically what you need to know is that Mo had to leave for personal reasons and that Ida came back and uh, the next conversation we have are the plugs and since there's no way to smoothly transition into it i'm basically here to tell you that uh the podcast is over now oh hell no listen you can find me at youtube.com slash at demi gloom because i'm one of the fucking poor what souls the fuck? i'm one of the poor souls who didn't get the custom url before they added their stupid fucking twitter tag system so i could not make it twitter or YouTube.com slash Demi Gloom. It's YouTube.com slash at Demi Gloom. What the fuck, fuck? YouTube? That's awful. Yeah, worst, worst shit ever. Oh, but you can go to YouTube.com slash JellyU to find JellyU's content. But YouTube.com did, slash. Did I turn my custom URL on or did I not? Twitch at TV slash TV. Somebody go to YouTube.com slash Riley Friends and see if it goes to me. No. No, you didn't turn that on. I remember specifically. Uh, wait, did you, wait, did you say twitch.tv slash Riley Friends? No, I said youtube.com slash Riley Friends. <laughs> twitch.tv slash Riley Twitch.tv slash Riley I will not provide any further context as to why you should go to this link. I will not incentivize you any further. I'm just going to tell you that this link exists and you should check it out. Hey, you should, um, hold on. Uh, I think... If you want to, I, I have something to plug this time. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Go to Google Maps and type in these specific coordinates. No, no. <laughs> shut no. the fuck up. No, because knowing Ida, she's going to say like her actual address and then like two days later be like, or, oh, no, she's going to say out. my actual address. <laughs> Wait, does she know your address? <laughs> yes. How did you let them know? Why does everyone know your address? Well, Ailey just straight idiot. up told. Ida. <laughs> okay, Riley. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, it's the core. It's the coordinates. It's the it's the funny one. Riley, oh, it's the funny, funny coordinates. coordinates. <laughs> Riley, I want you to I want you to go to Google Maps on on it's, on it's camera. It's the Sonic right? XE one. It's not funny. Shut up! No, it's so, dude. It's so funny. I actually jumped when I saw that. Like, I legit like it actually scared me. Do it, do it, Riley. It's not so good. funny. It's so <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Do it. It's almost as good as Matthias.ma slash NSFW. What is Matthias? Matthias M-A-T-I-A-S dot M-A slash NSFW. It's a it's a check it out. Go to that website. You guys hear about the um uh the blackout that's taking place at the White House? For more information, go to (laughs) 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 black.com. Did you know that when Obama was serving, it was called the Black House? <laughs> that wait, that would still forever be the best Jack Jackbox thing ever. Yeah, that was really good. Dude, Ivan is a fucking legend. I love that guy. Was that all, was that like immortalized in a YouTube video, or was that just like yeah. we playing together? No, no, no. It was in my Quiplash video. Oh, okay. The prompt was, what do you say in, on a tour in the White House? And, and I even just answered, so when Obama was serving, was it called the Black House? That was really funny. That was really like, good. Just like every White House, one of them broke in. Okay, guys? Oh, no. 
I, I might I might get in trouble for that one actually. I'm sorry. A black person made that joke and I thought it was funny. And then when I said it, I realized it it was not funny. Copium, 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 copium. Coordinates right now. No, it's just gonna be something stupid, and I don't care. I don't know. Do it. It's, it's gonna bad. be Sonic. It's just gonna be Sonic EXE. It's not funny. It is funny. You spoiled it. You okay, so it is Sonic EXE. You see, it would maybe it would have been slightly funny, but now that I know, I have no incentive to look at it. It's just Sonic EXE in the forest. But it's so literally how though how. Are we going back to just captioning images with like how? Ready for me to once again uh, it, it reveal how badly the public school system failed me? Oh. Sure, go ahead. I didn't know there were negative coordinates. <laughs> You didn't even play Minecraft <laughs> enough to know that there were negative coordinates. You think I played Minecraft? You f- he played he played Bedrock before coordinates were a thing on Bedrock. Yeah, exactly. But right, Riley, what's the difference between a Flatheads and a Phillips? Well, I know that because I fucking have to take apart computers all the time. Okay, no, no, no. But there was once a time where I asked you that, and you dead ass did not know, and I was so disappointed in you. Flathead is one of the flat ones, and the Phillips has the has the one with the four. Yeah, exactly. Phillips on it. Wow, that you <laughs> it said it so weirdly. It. <laughs> I got it correct, though. <laughs> Fuck you. AC, hey, I don't know how to explain it without sounding stupid, but I know it. It's the one with like the star on it. That's the Phillips head. Star of yeah, David. Yeah, the star of David. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> All right, you can find me at anchor.fm slash Riley Mega Feed. Check out the links in the description of the feed for everything that I do. Uh, this has been Largest Issue in the Galaxy. See you next week. <laughs> Did anybody not plug? I don't think Jason plugged. You can find me at youtube.com slash C slash Jellyu, J E L E E O O. Just released a video called Neon White Great Game, Greater Potential. You should check it out. It's a really good video, uh, and it's the best because I made it. Great game, greater potential, greater jelly video. It's true. It's just true. Uh, I, I have know, added I the video. creator. Really of, I have added the creator of the game on Twitter with the link to the video. I have gotten no responses at all, but I, <laughs> I am waiting a, a huge check in the mail. So let's just so say what, I'm expecting a large sum of cash. So what what you're saying is we should harass him until he responds. <laughs> yes, go to Ben Esposito's Twitter. And tell him he has a really nice haircut because he does. That game Everybody is so got... funny, bro. They, they they talk about big boobs, guys. That's Everybody true. Gonna... They do talk about that in the game. I, all right, it's over. I've been Riley. I've been Demi Lim. And also, my name is Jonathan F. Kennedy. Okay, fuck you. Goodbye. John Fortnite Jesse. Kennedy. Jesse. Jesse. John Fuck Kennedy. <laughs>